It has been a horrifying week here in Port-au-Prince, a week where the dead, the injured and the homeless are sharing a city largely reduced to rubble. Actual imagined end of the world. It is a disruptive event that provokes revelation. And what you will see will leave you speechless. All this the earthquake revealed. The pictures have become familiar. The presidential palace had all but collapsed. So had block after block, neighborhood after neighborhood, gone. The world has done its part in demolishing Haiti. This too is important to remember, and this too the earthquake revealed. Apocalypses are not only catastrophes, they are also opportunities, chances for us to see ourselves, to change. You can see the concern is obvious on the streets right now. They don't want these buildings to keep shaking. They're worried about even more aftershocks. The new zombie cannot expect work of any kind. The new zombie just waits around to die. And this too the earthquake revealed. To what end? To what future? To what fate? The answer seems to me both obvious and chilling. I suspect that once we have finished ransacking our planet the rest of us will wallow in unimaginable extremity. A hospital ship is a must for us now because some of our hospitals have been affected by livestock so, so we need that kind of support. AD is also a sign of what is to come. We must refuse. We must stare into the ruins bravely resolutely and we must see and then we must act our very lives depend on it will it happen will we despite all our limitations and cruelties really heat our ruins and pull ourselves out of our descent into apocalypse I still have hope these are dark times there is no denying sometimes we have to look in our entertainment for truths and sometimes we have to look in the ruins for hope. If anything is certain it is this, there will be more Hades. Never fear though if anything is certain it is this, there will be more Hades.